Nature trail. No shit. Can't find the trailhead. Bushwhacking. Hi, Cody. Hi, Drew. <laughs> I'm face down on a table with needles in my back right now. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Uh, good timing then. <laughs> yeah, I I was looking at the Abbey report. Um, it seems pretty confident. Um, what do you think weather-wise? Based on what I've been looking at the past few days, I do feel good about it. I feel confident about it. I feel confident about snow conditions, alley conditions. Um, and I feel confident about the weather. I haven't checked the weather since this morning. Um, what's it look like right now for Saturday? I, I look at iPhone weather. Um, that's, I feel like, the most accurate. And it said sun with a little cloud thing, so that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> If we're making the call, we're making it like right now because I gotta drive to, to Utah tomorrow. So what do you think? Should, we, should I pull the trigger? I think yes. Yeah, I think now's a really good time for it. Okay. All right, we're pulling the trigger. We are leaving the east side and uh, we'll start making our way out there right now, I guess. Sweet, <laughs> I just made your decision for you. I got it two and a half hour, three hour drive home, and then an eight and a half hour drive tomorrow. Hey, buddy. Hi, Cody. That line is a massive avalanche shoot. Might want to give ourselves a little extra time to dig a pit. That persistent weak layer is buried in certain spots. See you around 6.30 tomorrow morning at the trailhead. Sweet, sounds right. good, thanks brother. Later dude. See you. Oh, good morning. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here at the trail, hey? How's it going? That's good. I'm glad that you guys are back in Utah. <laughs> yeah, we are as well. <laughs> Hi. I'm Hi. Nally. I'm Bjarne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Today we're gonna go ski Cold Fusion on Mount Timpanogos. It's the north facing shot, like main Abbey Pass on Mount Timpanogos. Really prominent from the city to see. Do you think we're gonna be alone? No, I don't think we're gonna be alone. I feel like we've been having like a constant storm cycle all winter and so I think that this is one of the few like clear days where it's stable snow. I think that a lot of people are getting out today. So we'll probably see somebody up there. Uh, our magic ski delivery service. Okay, so today cold fusion on Mount Timpanogos. I think Timpanogos is the highest mountain in the Wasatch and uh, where we're going today is about a couple miles on a dirt road, which will actually be covered in snow. Round trip, eight and a half miles. Um, we're gonna be doing about 4,500 vert today and topping out at about 11.2. Um, overall, the pitch is pretty mellow, 35, 40 degrees, and uh, should be a good day. Good. Cool. Let's go ski. Cool. Good morning. <laughs> Nature trail. No shit. How did we miss the trailhead to start the day? I think the trailhead's further up that closed that parking closed lot. road. Like I yeah. remember finishing the ski straight into the parking lot off the trail. Gotcha. Which, okay. Sorry, I don't. I just don't remember all the details in the dark. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> really, really happy I decided to call local. <laughs> Crux one, about 10 minutes in. Can't find the trailhead. Bushwhacking. I've been here before, dude. I swear I know where we're going. Well, <laughs> still. Really? 
still higher up. So let's follow whatever this goes. After all that, up. but we found it. Dude, why wouldn't you guys just start on the trail? So much easier. So much easier. Oh, those looks like some great turns. So, a little known fact. Mally is an ex cross country ski competitor and like ultra runner, trail runner. And she's setting the pace, which is why I'm breathing hard. Never let the cross country skier set the pace on the skin track. We are at the bottom of Cold Fusion. I wouldn't call it a couloir. It's like an avalanche chute more than anything. <laughs> Considering we are like literally standing in an avalanche chute, but um, <laughs> that looks fun. It looks good. Looks skiing looks great. The party ahead of us, Drew's roommates, looks like they're already kind of starting to move down. They just sort of move fast moving down. So it actually works out perfectly. because We don't want to be like necessarily under in the middle of this Abbey chute while they're skiing down because that's dangerous. Let's do an uh, easy tee right here, and then let's just do hasties on the way up. Um, if this confirms what uh, things are low to moderate. So we're doing an easy tee, which is an extended column test. This gives you a better idea of the energy if this thing were to slide, so if it propagates. So if I hit here, will it go all the way across? I'm not worried really about anything actually moving. It's just something that's always in the back of your head, especially in January and especially on a run like this. Now we're transitioning to booting so we can boot up this shallow rock section and get to the top. Yes. I bet we're like 30 minutes from the top. That's probably enough. Like 200 feet, 300 feet. <laughs> Coming into the sun!
Gilbert. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Super nice. That was really fun. I can't hunt. Team party? black and orange. <laughs> As we say, Drew, the day is not over till you're back at the car. And it's getting kind of darkish. We got a danger trail coming up. Show me. Oh my. I can tell this is already getting. Oh my god. What the? Oh, tree. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, holy. I think that was the scariest part of the day. Oh. As I said, the adventure's never over until you get back to the car. Oh my God. That was, that last part was gnarly. Yeah. yeah. Is that a recovery beer? Yes. Yeah. What's in the recovery beer? Uh, I don't know. It makes you recover better. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> High five, Bjarne. There you go. On to the next one.